Hello, this is Cotton Stoops and welcome back to another HDC video and today's video is on Gienta. Gienta is a very promising offensive loopman in this metagame and will be able to be a very terrifying force for any team that will be able to face Gienta. So let's get along with the video. Today's video is all about how to use encounter Gienta. From the counters and checks in teammates in order to know how to use Gienta during your matches as well as the roles and sets in order to team build around Gienta, today's video is all about how to use encounter Gienta. So the role that Chienta is going to be playing in your matches is a very essential question to ask and because we need to know how to team build around it, its base stats will help us answer this question. First off, its defenses is never something you ever want to acknowledge as something good. These defenses are really bad and of course you need to bring Chianta in the match either on a very safe swap on a very resisted hit, a pivot in, or a revenge kill in. So this will give you an idea of how to use Chianta in your matches. Never swap this thing on an unresisted hit as Chianta will most likely die. Your range attack stat of 38 is also nothing you should write home about. Your, however, your HP and energy stat of 98 and 97 respectively is also pretty okay. Your HP isn't saving your defenses, but your energy will be able to be utilizing energy costing items such as the power cuffs, which is ultimately very good for any offensive Lumia. Speaking of offense, your offense isn't really that great just with the base stats alone of 95 base melee attack. However, thanks to your move pull and your abilities, you will be able to, of course, hit much more harder. Your speed stat of 115 is also very good, mainly because you will be able to outspeed Lumen such as Glacadia, Novadius, Nevermare, which are, of course, all common threats in this metagame. Also, something to note about Chienta is that it also has pretty good offensive coverage that will able to hit Ancient, Spirit, Dark, Plant, Bug, Earth, and Air all super effectively. So, this basically tells us that Chienta is going to be a very great cleaner option or revenge killer option in this game simply because of how much damage it can do, how much types it can hit super effectively, and the speed tier that will be able to outspeed a bunch of Lumians. And it, of course, it is still frail, so you should never ever swap this in on a hit at all, unless it's something that you will know that you'll be able to take hits from. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the sets for Chianta. The Chianta set that we're going to be utilizing is going to be a balanced offensive set with the ability of choice being Sharp Claws. Mesmerizing is a secondary option to run for your ability, but because not much good priority users in this game, only really being your soul and Chironix, you will be able to not really care about mesmerizing and just go for the damage boost in Sharp Claws. Your personality will be brawny nimble very clumsy. This is so you can uh, max out your brawny and nimble personalities and of course prioritize your more offensive stats without sacrificing any sort of defense. And your moveset is going to be Ice Hammer, Radiant Rush, Brawn Boost, and Primal Slash. While you can use your other light type stab option, it's much better to Brawn Boost on the swap mainly because Ice Hammer, Radiant Rush, and Primal Slash will all be plus two, whereas Radiant Rush will only, or your light type stab will only be boosted. And of course, it is much more consistent to hit Lumians twice rather than saving up for a 25% boost and only hitting once. Now, right out of that, let's talk about the item. The item of choice will be the Power Cuffs to hit as hard as possible with all of your moves. And while you can run stuff such as the Clutch Plushie, you can try and run that simply because this has not a lot of great defenses, but personally, I'm going cut power cuffs. Also, another thing for Chienta, and another thing to note about it, you really can also run Body Slam. This will also help you to it KO Luminami or Jalusa if you do plus two on the swap, so that is something to consider. Anyways, the set right after this is the TPs of 52 energy with using the power cost will be able to outspeed Lumin such as or not outspeed but it will help you use one Ron boost three of your stabs and of course primal slash your 48 hp is the leftovers and 200 melee attack and speed is of course to outspeed as much as possible and hit as hard as possible another thing to know about 
Chance's move pool is that it can also utilize Light Dash, which can of course get the jump on Lumion Switch's Zulong if you are plus two, and if you are able to chip this down and of course KO it, which is most likely going to be the case for anything, but Light Dash is super niche, so there's really not much room to run for it. Anyways, let's talk about the counters and checks and teammates for Chienta. So offensive and defensive checks for Chienta is very, very simple. As right, so for offensive stuff, you want to use Lumens that naturally outspeed it, such as Zulong and Protagon, or Boots users such as Tatab or Halvantic. Note that none of these guys want to take hits from Chienta, so good luck with trying to do that. As well, you should might as well just revenge kill Chienta with these Lumions. There's really no point in swapping in unless you know that you will be able to survive that hit. And as for defensive answers, Jalusa and Luminami will be very good. However, Body Slam, like I said, will be able to 2-hit KO these Lumions at plus 2. And as for Bar Blast and Tundralin, they're more very soft checks, but Brawn Boost will be able to break both. However, Tundralin, if the Chianta hits you and you hit it back with Body Crash on the same turn, you will be able to two hit or you will be able to 1 8 KO Chianta. So that is something to consider. And as for the defensive teammates or offensive teammates first, let's talk about that first. Because Jalusa and Luminami will most likely be the Lumens has to be swapping in on Chienta using Lumens such as Nevermare, Colossotrops, and Plant types such as Tatab and all of these guys to absorb their stabs, mainly only Flash and Flea, if they are running Pivot, and hit them back super effectively. Deep Freeze and Frost Beam is an option on all on most of these Lumians, but because these guys have the bulk, whether that would be Nevermare, Tatab's um, unresistedness, it is also pretty good in that front. Do note that Luminami can also run Mega Chomp to hit Colossotrops and Tatab in case it's not running Frost Beam. However, that won't be it for right now because you can never know and just scout the moves if you can in your matches. Other than that, let's talk about the other side of teammates. Solber Serokodon, Dakuda, and Odayaga, they do really well against almost all of your defensive checks besides Solber Serokodon having weaknesses against Jalusa and Luminami. Odayaga does very well against all of them, whether your boots or not, it's gonna be very essential in, to, in order to, to kill these guys. And as for Dakuda, Dakuda is also good just because it has great matchups with its mixed coverage of Torriento Slash, Thunderstrike, Gamma Pulse, and Slapdown to hit all the defensive checks super effectively. So, accumulating all of these together, I particularly think that running a defensive core, or offensive core I should say, my bad, of Tatab, Chienta, and Odayaga would be best, as these guys have the best matchups against Chienta's swap-ins. Other than that, defensive teammates will also be covered, which will mainly be baffle users that can bring these Lumions in and let them hit as hard as possible without taking HP off. As well, your snack is probably the best option on any type of team. Dokomori is also a pretty good option overall, especially if you're using Sponge, as you will be able to sit on Lumen such as Bar Blast. And as for Mraith, Mraith also has pretty good matchups against the light types like Jalusa and Luminami. Other than that, now that we're finally done with the final section, let's talk about the conclusion and my thoughts on Gienta. Chienta seems to be a very strong offensive Lumion in this metagame simply because it has the damage output and the setup to actually threaten things out. I haven't mentioned the calcs throughout this whole video, but plus two if you do set up Brawn Boost on the swap of a melee defensive Lumion, they're most likely going to get to it KO'd unless they're running some type of Pearl, some kind of defense, something like that. This will have the ability to 2 hit KO Lumions such as Obsidigon, Bar Blast, Tundralin, Seer Knight. However, the main problem besides Bar Blast is all of these guys do have the ability to one shot this thing back. So Chienta will be able have to be able to take care of that and of course be wary of that. And once the chip on these Lumions are done, then Chienta will be able to safely KO them. It is also very important that Chienta will have to have some type of Lumion to deal with faster Lumions such as Zulong that will in case try and stop its sweep. 
So let me know your thoughts on Shianta. Do you think it's good or do you think it's bad? Like the video and subscribe to the channel if you think this video is informational. Anyways, this is Cotton Soup signing off to remind you that Zulong is still a dumpster fire.